Hey guys. Hi, I know. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a puppy haul for 2021. I have a ton of stuff that is somewhat either random or things that I just think you genuinely need if you have a puppy. Um, things that I would recommend for new puppy owners or owners or even if you just like spoiling your dog. So let's just get straight into it. You're gonna hear Miko squeaking the whole entire time probably. So I'm sorry if your dog is getting all riled up because of him, but this is just a sign that you need to play with him. <laughs> all the stuff by the way, or well, most of the stuff is from Amazon. A lot of the stuff is also, everything is bought online. So everything can be shipped ship straight to you. The first thing I'm gonna mention is a soft folding dog crate. So I actually used to take Miko's crate, um, his metal crate, with me everywhere. I would put it in the car and I would take it with me if we were going either somewhere that was going to be there for a long time um, or just overnight. But I have purchased this one. I actually purchased it in brown and I'm obsessed with it. It really makes a huge difference in having to first of all carry that and also just like fit in the car, the look of it, everything about it. It's really comfortable for him. Okay, that's the, most, that's the squeakiest toy you own and you're going to play with it right now. Miko, go get a different toy. Go get a different toy. No, no, no. Go get a different toy. Go get a toy. No, a different one. Oh God. Anyways, um, I really like this dog crate and I definitely would recommend it. It also just looks really nice. So even if you were just gonna get it, um, not necessarily for portable reasons, but just to have in your house, it looks a lot, a lot more aesthetically pleasing. But it looks a lot more aesthetically pleasing than the metal one. So the next thing I wanna mention is a Omega. It's like this trick ball. Um, so basically it's a, almost like a Kong, but you can put some treats in it and it falls out at the side. I like the shape of this because since it is a ball, they can roll it. Whereas with the Kong, it's a little bit harder for them to get it out of. The ball is definitely easier because it just rolls kind of naturally. So I would definitely recommend that. Next thing I'd mention is this, is this winter coat. I'm obsessed with this winter coat. He has another one, but I don't like it as much as this one. This one has like really soft inside lining. It fits really nicely on him. And it's also like kind of customizable as to how it fits harness wise. So it almost is like a regular jacket for a dog. It has like a zipper down the middle and it comes in two different colors, I'm pretty sure. And then um, it has like a buckle across that kind of is like almost like a sewn on harness. So you don't necessarily need to put on the harness. You can just put the jacket on them and then they have a jacket and a harness in one. And it's perfect. It's definitely one of my most used items lately with him. So I would definitely recommend trying out those jackets. Next thing I'm gonna mention is this dog sweater vest. I actually let him wear this. I think it was for New Year's or his birthday or something like that. I can't remember, but it's super cute. It seems comfortable, doesn't seem super itchy on them or anything like that. Um, yeah, dog clothes is always nice. Next thing I'm gonna mention is conditioner. So I wasn't someone who knew this, but it honestly makes sense thinking about it now. I was only ever aware of dog shampoo. I was only ever seeing people talk about the dog shampoos that they use or why you need dog shampoo or the reasons to use it, all that sort of thing. But I had never been aware of the actual conditioner and I've started using conditioner on Miko and it's helped him with his itching. Sometimes he itches and I feel like his itching has definitely decreased some. And I think also just especially during the winter, it can be really drying for them just as it is for us. So um, it helps keep their coat nice and soft. I think it's especially useful for dogs with long hair or like hypoallergenic dogs because their fur is similar to like human hair. So it needs the hydration. Whereas like a short haired dog might have, or not haired, a short coat dog might not need the, coke, the conditioner as much. Basically with this, what I do is I will put it on Miko. I use quite a bit um, and I will let it sit for about a minute or two while I just pet him and talk to him, you know, give him treats or whatever. And then I rinse it off and he's left super, super soft. And I feel like I like the smell of it a lot because I'm not really a fan of his shampoo. Um, I think I might've mentioned his shampoo in my first puppy haul, but it's the Burt's Bees one. I'm pretty sure it's like oatmeal or something, but it honestly just smells like wet dog. Like when you wash it off of them, they smell gross. And usually like, I don't really think that Miko stinks. I mean, I'm just used to him, but I don't really think that Miko smells, but after washing him with the shampoo, I don't like the way he smells, but the conditioner smells really nice. It's like mild, but it also lingers for like a little while. And I don't really find him smelling gross, like that dog smell. I would recommend a conditioner. If you haven't tried conditioner on your dog, definitely try out this one. It was really good, it had a lot of good reviews on Amazon. So the next thing I'm gonna mention is a thaw mat. So if you are someone who feeds your dog raw food or you yourself just like cooking 
um, raw meat. I kind of got this as a two-in-one for both myself and him, but it's basically this like mat or like this um, this like tile that helps your food or your meat dethaw. A, not dethaw. Helps your meat or your food thaw a lot faster than it would if you just were to put it in the fridge or outside, or you know when you put it in like the microwave and it, like kind of cooks part of it and like that's just not as good for you and it's also harder. So I think using the thaw mat is definitely a lot easier. It literally takes like no time at all. So if you forget to take their food out, you can just use the thaw mat. If you forget to take your own food out, you can just use the thaw mat. I would definitely, definitely, definitely recommend this. I've been loving it lately. The next thing I mentioned is this um, BioSilk waterless shampoo. It's actually funny because I, I used to use BioSilk on my own hair. I actually still have one product from them. Basically, this is just a waterless shampoo, so you can use it on them in between washes just to keep them smelling nice and fresh. I honestly haven't really used it since I got the conditioner because I haven't really felt the need to, but if it's been a little while, I will definitely go in with some waterless shampoo. I think it's especially nice during the winter because if your dog, um, you know, is in snow or water or anything like that and then they come inside sometimes they get like they smell like wet dog you know what i mean so if you can just use that waterless shampoo it kind of just gets rid of the smell without actually having to like deep clean them right then and there next thing is a pinata treat toy so i got this for miko for his birthday and i'm obsessed with it it literally is like a tiny little pinata i actually left it at my boyfriend's house with his dog so i can't show you guys right now but um it's basically a little pinata toy and then the middle has like a little velcro and you can stuff treats on the inside and they have to like figure their way out to get it open and then they can eat the treats super cute i really liked this this toy it was also just fun for him to play with he liked it a lot next thing is this brush miko isn't a huge fan of being brushed like it's not the worst about it but he definitely doesn't like like it but this brush definitely does a good job i think that the um like the tips of it are coated pretty nicely so it doesn't actually scratch them it's just more comfortable and I like that the other side is kind of more of like a boar bristle so you can like smooth out their coat after brushing them and getting through the little tangles. The next thing I'm going to talk about is a Charmy box, either subscription or even just buying it like whenever you choose to. I personally don't have a subscription but when I feel like I'm running low on shoes and shoes for Miko, I'll go on Charmy box and I'll pick one of the boxes that I want to get for him. Basically they give you a bunch of dehydrated treats and shoes so I know recently we got like pig ear, we got lamb liver, beef hearts. Um, there was like this little meatloaf thingy. Like they just give a bunch of stuff. It's all like one ingredient. It's all super good for your dog. There's nothing like, there's no gross preservatives in them or additives or anything like that. It's literally just the meat itself and it's a lot of organs. So sometimes I'll give it to Miko as treats, like certain ones you can break up and use as like training treats. And then other times I will just give it to him to chew on or I'll include it in his meal. Next thing I'm gonna mention, which he's actually chewing on right now. I'm obsessed with these because he's obsessed with these. I don't personally enjoy them, but basically drop it. Basically it's like the antler. I'm pretty sure if you have a dog, you've probably seen these antlers. I'm pretty sure everyone pretty much gets these, but excuse me, can you wait? Um, the inside of it is stuffed with a pizzle, which is basically like, I'm pretty sure a bully stick. So pretty much it just makes it a lot harder. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Makes it a lot harder for them to get into it. So they have like the antler aspect of it. And then it's also just kind of more difficult for them to get into it. Whereas with the bully stick, it's obviously a lot easier. They can just chew it up right then and there. But I love this thing. I didn't really think he'd be able to actually get through it, but he had one that was smaller before this one and he literally cleared it out like the middle. Like I remember looking at it one day and like the inside was just clean and I'm like, that's crazy. So he's taking a while. I'll show you what it looks like on the inside. So he's like got some damage on that side and then also on that side. Good boy. Um, so yeah, there's that. Next thing I'll mention are the these little salmon and sardine treats. They don't actually smell, which is really good. I hate when like treats, especially treats that smell like, that are fishy, they have that like fishy smell, it's really gross. And then it like smells like fingers and people wash your hands. It's just like annoying, especially if you're trying to do training. So um, these ones aren't like that. They're like a decent size. I'd say they're about this big. You can break them up into like, I'd say two or three pieces and Miko seems to also, if you have a dog, especially like a raw fed dog, it's important to make sure you get some fish into their diet. I'll mention some stuff that I use in a bit. But yeah, it's really important to make sure that they get fish because the omega, no omega, I think omega six, omega three, I don't know, is really good for them. I honestly don't know anything about nutrients and nutrition, but um, I feel like I'm learning because of Miko, so. 
Okay, so the next thing I'm going to talk about is actually the last thing. So there's a company called Big Country Raw and all the stuff that I'm about to mention is from, from Big Country Raw. I used to buy Miko's food in tubs from another brand. I'm, I'm pretty sure it was called Raw Performance. I would buy it in the individual four pound tubs or two pound tubs. They're about this big and he eats about um, like half a pound to a pound a day. So I would buy them and I buy about four and they, my freezer is small so they wouldn't really fit in there and I'd have to buy a limited amount which is why I'd buy four and it would cost me about 40 bucks. Whereas when I went on Big Country Raw, I was able to get so much more food and save so much more money. I literally got Miko's month supply of food plus a bunch of like things to add to his meals. So the first thing that I'll mention is a carton of the four pound chicken dinner. So the dinners are actually like the mix. So they have, you know, the bone, the organ, the meat, all of that from the animal. Then they also have like the fruits and the vegetables. If you get the pure blend, it's usually just the animal itself. When you're feeding a dog raw, it's really important to make sure they're getting also fruits and vegetables. So um, yeah, I like to go with the blends, just less work for me. I don't have to worry about making sure that I add something. It's just already in there. And then if I add more, great. Um, so I got the four pound chicken dinner and basically they come in these little packets and it's so much easier because now I can just deep thaw that and I literally have a month supply of food which is so great for Miko and it also just fits into the freezer a lot better. The next one I got was a four pound of, of the beef dinner which is a little bit more expensive than the chicken but I feel like it's nice to have a little bit of a variation for him. Um, next thing I got is the herring oil which is basically a fish oil. Um, I didn't have anything for Miko before that, so I, I was just giving him these like freeze-dried sardines before or smelt. Um, but now he has that, so if I'm not giving him something that has to do with like fish, I can just throw in a few, I think it's like two, taste, two teaspoons of that oil and you know, it'll keep his coat healthy and everything like that. Next thing that I got from Big Country Raw are a little packet of quail eggs. I've been giving Miko quail eggs for about like, I'd say two months now. They last a really long time, which is nice. And also um, they're really good for him and he seems to like them. It adds a little bit of like crunch to his food and also is just good for him and his diet. Next thing I got is goat milk. He's actually never tried goat milk before. Go. He enjoys yogurt and I decided to freeze some goat milk. It's like raw fermented goat milk. Um, it's really good for them. They have, it has a lot of probiotics. It's good for their stomach and things like that. Just wanna make sure you don't give them too much right away in case they do have like a dairy issue or anything like that. So I froze a, a little bit and I also just put some on his lick mat, which I will mention next. So the next thing that I got from Big Country Raw is a lick mat. So he does have a slow feeder right now, but I wanted to get another bowl for him. This one is basically like a square and there's different little sections on it. So he has to literally lick his way through his food. So it helps one, slow him down. It's some mental stimulation. And just after his meal today, I poured some goat milk on the little lick mat and he could just lick it clean and he seemed to enjoy it. Next thing I got for him is salmon fillets. <laughs> is salmon fillets. So they actually just stay frozen and then pretty much you can either give it to them frozen or you can wait for it to dethaw a little bit and then give it to them to chew. The salmon fillets aren't super hard for them to get through, but the next thing I will mention is the pork riblets. So I actually just gave him one um, literally right before this video and it was pretty much, it took about, I'd say an hour for it to dethaw to the point, dethaw, like, I keep saying dethaw, it's literally just thaw. Anyways, I left it in the fridge for about an hour and I, it was easy enough for him to chew. Um, he really, really enjoyed it. He literally finished all of it. I read the instructions and it said to take the bone away from them, but he literally just ate all of it. I think maybe there wasn't a huge piece of bone. I think he kind of just got one that was mainly cartilage and like the meat. So I just need to keep an eye out if there's one that is bigger because obviously it's gonna be harder for him to chew through, but he has really strong teeth. So I wouldn't be surprised if he's able to literally just chew it. Bone is good for them as long as it's not cooked, like chicken bones and stuff like that aren't good for them. I'm sure you probably know that, but anyways. That is the end of this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I have a few other puppy hauls on my channel, so please definitely go check them out. I also have a video talking about everything you should know before you get a puppy. Um, if you are planning to get a puppy sometime sooner or you did just get one, let me know down below or let me know your puppy's name, their breed, their favorite treat, that sort of thing, because I love getting Miko new treats. So yeah, thank you again so much for watching and we will see you in the next one. Miko, can we pose? Good boy. Look there. Say thank you. Chica chica. My leg is numb. Like fully numb. I have needles. Oh my god. <laughs>